Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Unleashed. Oh yeah guys, today I want to start working on getting a quarry going. And before we can get a quarry going, we need to create an age that's specific for quarrying in. I don't want to quarry in the overworld, ruin the landscape, all that stuff. Those quarry holes are ugly, I don't want to look at them all the time. If it's in a miscraft world, we can just delete the world, never go back there, good to go. So... Uh, some things that I want to do, uh, if we're going to make a miscraft age specific for quarrying, I want to get a specific page. And the page that I'm looking for is the page flat. We have not obtained that page yet. Uh, we have quite a bit of different terrain generation pages, but flat is one that we still lack. Now I've been going around trying to find more pages, and we got some pretty good ones. Cave world, island world, I should try this sometime, I've never done an island world. Uh, Skylands and Standard Terrain. This is good. I mean, this is, we could create like an overworld style place with Standard Terrain. Uh, but that's not what I want to do. I want to create a flat area. Um, now we could quarry in that cave world, but most of it's air, so that'd be kind of pointless. Uh, so what I want to do is find the flat page, like I was saying. So I've been going around to the cave world and trying to find those libraries. And actually, you know, last episode I said it would be a good place to just run around and find them. Well, I ran around and I really was not finding any libraries. I know they're there, but I was just probably unlucky having to dodge those giant mushrooms. Yeah, and it's not fun at all. So I want to make another, I want to make another age specific for page hunting. One that's a little bit easier to navigate around. Um, I don't want to do it in this cave world because for some reason I think it might be all the structures in there. There's actually mine shafts that appear and then those nether fortresses that I put in. And there's also these new blocks that are, or I guess new terrain features that are part of Unleashed 1.1.4. Uh, I think it's Natura or Tinker's Construct, one of the two, added these floating islands. They're all over. You can find them in the overworld. You can find them in Mistcraft. Uh, they're floating islands for those blue slimes. If you'll notice, uh, well, maybe you haven't noticed, but in 1.1.4, you don't see the blue slimes hopping around as crazy as you did before. That's because they've been contained and changed to be on those islands. But as I was floating around or flying around looking for those pages, I found some Mistcraft dungeons and got some good stuff in a few of these. Just kind of ran to the dungeon. Oh, I forgot to take these pages out. I uh, ran to the dungeon, used the forest ranch, took the chest, and just booked it out of there. Those wisps are very, very deadly, especially with all the... The only thing I have is just this force armor, and this stuff doesn't do, protect a lot of, you know, damage from enemies. But this chest right here, oh yeah, we got ourselves a portal gun and a Hearthland biome page. Yeah, we're getting a lot of good stuff here, but that portal gun, this is good. I actually want was going to uh, make this pretty soon, but lucky for us, we just found one. Okay, uh, so we have a portal gun. That's going to stay in my ender pouch from now on. Uh, we'll probably look at making some of these ourselves later on as well. Uh, but, like I was saying, we want to create ourselves a good miscraft age specific for page finding. Uh, we did that before, but it was just a random age and... You know, I had a day-night cycle, and we had to dodge monsters and all that. That's not really fun. So I want to do, like, another mushroom biome kind of a thing. Maybe standard terrain, all single biome, mushroom biome. And also, another problem that we're running into is I can only go so far on my jetpack, and then I have to come back because it runs out, and that's just not fun. So I went to our mining age, and I mined up a whole bunch of coal. And I want to make one of these guys, a low voltage solar hat. Now I was trying one of these in creative mode and these work pretty good with the regular jetpack. If we ever upgrade to the advanced jetpack, we can't use this guy anymore. But I think this is more than enough for what I need to do for page finding. So we have to make eight of these solar panels and a low voltage transformer. These solar panels are pretty cheap. Remember, no Greg tech in this pack. So a couple of electronic circuits, a generator, Glass and cold dust. Cold dust is one of those things that I didn't have, so I went to Miscraft Age, like I said, and I got a bunch of coal. So I took my Fortune 4 pick and I mined probably 15 stacks. I don't remember how much it was, and I turned some of that into cold dust. So we have this stuff. We are good to go here. So what we need at this point is these circuits. I 
don't think I told Miss Craft, or I'm sorry, not Miss Craft, Applied Energistics, how to make this yet. I think we'll do these force ingots. See, that's two iron. Is that better than... No, it's the same. But we save on the redstone. We, we use a little bit of the force gems. Yeah, that's actually better in my opinion. I think we're going to tell our AE system to make this stuff for these circuits. And let's see what else we need. We need these generators. The generators are machine blocks or three refined irons and these batteries. Yeah, I'm going to have to tell the applied energistic system how to make all this stuff. But as we saw before, creating those patterns is pretty easy. we got a few spaces left here to put those extra patterns in. And I want to create one of these solar hel or solar hats. I was going to say solar helmets. But we're not making one of these yet. Um, these guys, the low voltage solar hats. or sol Yeah, solar hats. I think these are 8, eight EU a tick. Whereas just a regular solar helmet is 1 EU a tick. So yeah, this guy's a little bit better. Alright guys. I am going to get all the recipes going in Applied Energistics, and we will be right back. Alright guys, so this thing is just about done. Uh, it is stuck on making copper cables, so I just made a pattern for that, and this should continue on. Uh, here it goes, it's doing some stuff now. What's it? Oh, it's missing copper. Yeah, this thing doesn't know how to take these blocks and turn it into the loose items, so that is kind of a problem. So let's go and throw those in there, and it should be happy. And hopefully it will go ahead and craft up the rest of what it's missing. Now, it's saying it's stuck on copper. I wonder if it is... If it doesn't realize it can use the other type of copper. Let me go ahead and stop this, and let's try and make another one. Uh, just make one of those guys. Looks like it's doing it, it's going, it's going. Yeah, I don't know why it was stuck there for a second. It's like it didn't realize it still had the copper in there. Um, yeah, getting all these patterns hooked up so it can realize how to uncraft those blocks is going to be very, very helpful in the future. Okay, I think that is done. Nice. So, solar, low voltage, solar ray. Very good. Okay, so let's take that and I need some iron. I want to make an iron helmet so I can put those two things together. Do that. And click the little X. This and that. There we go. A low voltage solar hat. Nice. Okay, so let's stick that on my head. And is it night? It's probably nighttime. Yeah, it's nighttime. Let's come outside real quick, fly around, maybe kill some mobs. Try and get some use out of my jetpack. Get out of here. Alright, so how are we doing? Is this thing charging up? No, it's because it's nighttime. So if we go inside, let's use a little bit more of the jetpack. Let's sleep till day and just verify that this thing does work with this jetpack. I'm pretty sure I tested this already in a uh, creative world. Just to make sure. <laughs> because I made one of these before and at that time when I was making it, I uh, I had the advanced jetpack and this the low voltage solar hat did not work with it. So, yes, this is, in fact, charging my jetpack. Uh, we're fully charged right now. Now, I think, if I remember right, this should be more than enough to keep me always... Keep it always charged. Yeah, we're always at 30,000 EU now, so that's pretty good. I can fly around indefinitely now, as long as it's daytime outside, and never have to worry about my jetpack running out. Yep, still in. 30,000 EU. Very cool. Okay, so that's well worth it. So now the next step is to make a miscraft age that is always daytime and uh, preferably one that's, you know, easy to get around on. I think we would do the mushroom biome like I said before. Uh, now I can fly around without having to worry about uh, running out of my jetpack so I don't have to worry about, you know, am I going to make it or not or whatever. That solar hat looks pretty cool, I think. Eh. It's alright, I guess. Now, there's other tiers of the solar hat. Uh, these other ones, the medium voltage and the high voltage. You know the high voltage gives you, like, nausea effect every once in a while? But it recharges your jetpack or whatever you have on pretty quickly, so it's not a bad item. Uh, just to put on, you know, recharge and take it back off and let you like that nausea effect. Okay, so I think we are good to go at this point. Uh, I'm going to get some pages together, create a miscraft age, and we will check it out together, and then I'll go find, hopefully, 
a flat biome page or a flat terrain controller page for us to make a mining age. So I will see you guys in just a little bit. Okay, so I just spent a little bit of time getting a miscraft age, at least all the page written for one. Uh, we're doing a mushroom island biome, single biome, normal moon, zero length, zenith, normal sun. Hopefully uh, we'll keep the sun at noon this time. Normal stars, normal weather, bright lighting, star fissure, standard terrain, and clear modifiers. Okay, so um, doing less less specific stuff this time. Hopefully we'll get what we want. All I want is just an age where we can fly around. Now that we can fly around indefinitely, so we can just fly around and find libraries. I want to get that flat page. Okay, so here's our descriptive book. We will stick that right there for now. Uh, I do want to grab, let's see, I need to grab a page. Uh, give me one of those pieces of paper here. And stick that right like that. Link panel, and then I need a piece of leather. Let's get this crafted up, make a linking book back here. Uh, good enough. Okay. And I don't think I have any of those stands with me. Let me go make a stand real quick, a book stand, so we can put the linking book in that world, not having to worry about it being rained on or destroyed or whatever. So, oak. Okay. Let's do planks. And we need some sticks. Okay. Oop, 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 oop. Wrong one, wrong one. Here we go. Okay. I should make, you know, a bunch of those just so I have them. All right. So that's good. Let's get down here. Look like I can make those with the forest planks. I'll do that in the future. Good to know, so I don't have to waste all my vanilla wood. Um, I think we are good. I'm going to take this notebook with me. So when we find pages, I have a place to put all that stuff. And, yeah, this stuff can go in, like, my ender pouch or whatever. Okay, I think we are good to go. Let's head to age 5. Oh, we got a rainbow. So, this age is not what I specified. I said a single biome, mushroom biome, and looks like we got a completely random age for some reason. Uh, it might be because I didn't specify something. Actually, no, I think this is right. It looks like we got netherrack block. So it changed all of... Yeah, all of the dirt or whatever to netherrack. That's interesting. And then we got this big rainbow. Looks like we have a sun that is not moving, which is good. We have a really slow moving, probably double length sun there. All right, so I think we're going to be good. Let me just check the biome. Yeah, this is Mushroom Island, but it's full of netherrack. Very interesting. Is my thing charging? It is. Okay. So, yeah, as always, let's go ahead and put our book down here. And... Oh. Feels like, yeah, I'm only getting like 23 frames a second for some reason. 22 frames a second. I don't know why. <laughs> Something's killing my frame rate. It might be everything's still loading. I don't know yet. Okay, so we'll put our linking book to the overworld here. Uh, let's put a waypoint. Call this exit. Done. Alright guys, so now it's just a matter of me flying around, finding libraries. We've seen all this stuff before. Looks like we do have a star fissure over here. So if we ever do get stuck or whatever, we can just get out. Nice. Alright guys. I am going to fly in a northerly direction, try and find a library, or actually a whole bunch of them. We want to get that flat page, and I will see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, I haven't gone very far, uh, but as you can see right here, there's a floating island. And this is that island I was talking about. Um, looks like part of the chunk is not looted here for some reason. Uh, what? Come on, load. <laughs> Probably have to do that F3A thing. Oh, I don't know. Something's something's up with this. I might have to log down, log back in. I'm still only getting like 20 frames a second for some reason. It's really, really weird. Uh, but yeah, these blue slimes appear to only spawn here now. And there's this congealed blue slime stuff. You can kind of bounce on it if you jump. It's weird. <laughs> and I was testing this out in a creative world too. And it appears to negate fall damage. Uh, there's these slimy leaves and uh, the trunk of those trees are made out of green congealed slime and these can turn into slime balls and these turn into the blue slime balls so yeah that's pretty cool it's a way to get slime uh, you can get saplings from these trees uh, I already 
broke a couple of these before I started recording. Uh, so I have a sampling or two of this stuff. Yeah, here we go. So you can get a sampling, a slimy sampling, and regrow these trees wherever you want. And then this stuff, uh, you can, you know, convert it into slime balls. Actually, can you convert it back the other way? Yeah, it looks like you can convert it both ways, which is pretty cool. And like I was saying, this stuff does, like, negate fall damage, and you bounce on it a little bit. <laughs> Stupid slime. Alright guys, well I'm gonna figure out my frame rate issue. Uh, if it's gonna continue to be this low, I might have to just create a new world because this kind of stinks. Alright guys, I'll see you in a little bit. Alright guys, finally, finally, finally. I've been out here in this age searching for libraries for I don't know how long. The last two hours now or something. I've gone all the way to... Um, well... What direction is this? This would be the Z coordinate. I've gone all the way to negative 15,000 Z and positive 15,000 Z. And then I moved over about 150 blocks, 200 blocks. Did the same thing and then I moved over one more time. So, man, finally, we got it. The flat page. Woo! We got a lot of other good pages, too, that I've been after that we didn't have before. And we have a lot of repeats been filling up my notebook full of different pages to be collecting uh and man 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 let's see what we got here after all these different things i have found only one extra notebook void i already got that one. Oh man let's see we got no weather page which we've been looking for which is pretty good we got three of them actually uh we got lava block i don't think we had this one before uh we already have an ocean biome so now we can make a complete lava biome if we wanted to so that's pretty cool still haven't found oil although i know the oil biomes always are corrupted and just so happens we are pretty close to where i spawned in but yeah like i said we went like 5000 or 15000 blocks that way and then back 15000 this way and i don't know why this age is really, really laggy for me. I'm only getting like 18 frames. It might be the rainbow. It might be all the nether rack. I honestly don't know. But I'm going to go through this notebook here. <laughs> we have a lot of pages. I'm going to go through this, sort all of these guys out, and then try and get something set up. Man, look at all that stuff. And try and get something set up for uh, making a mining age. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Okay guys, so I got all of those pages finally sorted, put away, all in order, and I made a new notebook full of pages to create a new age with. Let's take a look at this real quick. So we have, once again, Mushroom Island, and we're doing single biome, then we're doing a uh, white, normal stars, zero length, zenith, west, normal sun, and normal moon. We have the same pages. Trying to be as specific as possible so we get everything exactly as we want. Uh, we're doing white cloud color, blue water color, green foliage, green grass. Even though this will be a mushroom biome, we won't see any of that stuff. Uh, black night sky. Hopefully we'll never see the night if we have a zero length zenith sun. But just got to specify it anyway. So we're doing blue sky color, magenta sunset. Again, we probably won't see a sunset. Then I have a couple other pages here. Boundless Sky. This is supposed to remove all fog, so everything's going to be completely clear all the way to the edge of the screen, so that would be pretty good. Uh, no weather. Bright lighting. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, we have dungeons, crystal formations, no seas, mine shaft, star fissure, and flat. So, okay, so this is what we really wanted. And finally, we're going to top that all off with a clear modifiers page. Okay, so hopefully this is going to be exactly what we want for a mining age. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I really don't know. We will find out here in a moment. I mean, I put in a whole bunch of pages there. And yeah, if this isn't what we want, I don't know what else to do. But how many pages? 37. That's a lot. Okay, so once again, once again, once again, let's go ahead and make ourselves a way to get home. Now, I always keep one of these in my ender pouch just in case. But... I don't want to use that one, and I want to always make sure that's there. And we will make a new one of these every single time. Let's bring one of those guys. Let's go ahead and link this. Okay, so I think we are set. Let's go check out what Age 6 has to offer.
Okay, I think this is exactly what we want. Except the sun is going down. Hmm. Well, I don't know why that does not work. Maybe you can only do a zero length on the sun first. I think I specified the moon first. Really don't know. That's unfortunate. But I did specify bright lighting. So regardless of where that sun is, it's always going to be bright around here. Looks like we got our star fissure. Yep. And I didn't specify caves. I don't see any caves, but, you know, that's a very small little opening there. So hopefully this is going to end up being exactly what we wanted, uh, regardless of that sun. I mean, we have the bright lighting, so it's not going to be dark ever. So let's go ahead and put this down. Let's put our waypoint. Whoop, that's the wrong button for the waypoint. Call this exit. Okay. So we have our mining age all set up. As far as I can tell, this is just a standard flat world. Looks like we are at Y7374 for uh, yeah, for uh, the main level of the world. Let's go over here and check this out. We got the crystals. I'm not seeing any other things around. Kind of a little bit of stutter here. I don't know if that's just the normal rendering chunks or if it's rendering like mine shafts or anything down below. I didn't specify mine shafts though. So hopefully we don't got any extra things like that. Looks like we have an oil well over here. Okay, well I think we are pretty good. So the next step would be just to go and make our quarry. And we're going to have to make a liquid tesseract to get steam out here. Convert that over to MJ so our quarry can run. I have to make all the landmarks and get all that stuff going. Uh, then we need to make some item tesseracts to move the stuff from this age to the overworld and into the ME system. So a little bit more stuff to do. We aren't quite ready yet, uh, but it's good to know we have our age all set and ready to go. All right, guys, so I am going to craft up some things, get some things ready, and we'll be back. So the crafting's all done. I just made two item tesseracts and one liquid tesseract. So we can get the steam to our other age, and then we need to transfer the items from the age to the overworld. So I made an ME interface here, and if you don't know these interfaces, anything you put inside of them, if they're not in the export config, get put right back into the system. So for instance, if I were to put this quarry on the exported items, it just gets pulled right back in. Uh, bread gets pulled right back in, but if I put bread right here, if there's bread in the system, it'll go right like this. Uh, we're not going to use this for the feature of putting bread here. Uh, we're using this for the feature that there's nothing in the export config, so the system just pulls everything back in. So the item tesseract is right above, so it's going to be dumping everything from the quarry into this exported config area, or exported item. Since there's no pattern here, it gets pulled into the system, so we should be good to go on that. Uh, I do need to get my quarry back. <laughs> Let's get that thing. Uh, I made this other block here. This is called an angel block. I believe this is from Extra Utilities or Miscellaneous Utilities. I can't remember the name of the mod. But what's cool about this block is you can place it anywhere, right in front of your face. It doesn't have to be touching anything. It's just right in front of you, right where you place it. That block goes midair or whatever. So this is great for flying around and then if you need some place to land on, you just place that block. Uh, it's instant break. And it goes right back into your inventory. It's like creative mode breaking pretty much. So yeah, very, very useful block. Okay, so I've also created a bunch more of these 4K storage drives. So we should have plenty of different types for all the different resources we're going to be getting. And I'm going to have to make a deep storage unit or something for all the cobblestone that's going to be incoming. All the cobblestone and dirt. Because that's going to be a lot of stuff. Uh, we'll work on that later. Also, maybe you guys noticed, maybe not, but I have messed around Bibliocraft a little bit. I made some lanterns. I was just kind of playing around. Made a little oak table and a little lamp. And yeah, I was just kind of seeing what was in that mod. These lamps are kind of cool. Um, so you can attach them to the ceiling, and then they have this little ceiling attached thing. I'll maybe use a pick on this thing. You can attach it to the wall, and then it looks like a little lamp. Like, you know, you'd hang on the front of your house or something, a street light or whatever. You can place it on the ground and then it doesn't have any of those things. So yeah, these lights are kind of cool. I like how, depending on where you place them, they, uh... Is that? No, it needs to be over one more. Yeah, they kind of conform to however you place them, whether it be on the ceiling or the floor or whatever. 
Same thing for this light. Um, when I placed it on this table, it turned into a really small thing. But if I placed it on one of these things, it was bigger. If I placed it on the ceiling, it looks like an overhead light. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, I really haven't messed around Bibliocraft too much. Okay, so I think we are all set. We have our angel block. We have our steam, uh, our power converters. We have the liquid tesseract. Quarry, I think we're good. So let's head over to our new mining age. Oop, that's fast. Okay, and looks like we go this way when we first enter. I might move the book stand over here. This is north. Okay, so let's go just a little bit this way and we'll start our quarrying here. Uh, let's see, we're gonna need to put a landmark. Probably start right on the edge of this mushroom. Oh, ranked in, need some levers. Aha, so now we can just come all the way over here, see where the marker ends. And let me grab this angel block and we're gonna need cobblestone too. Okay, so we can just place that block. Well, <laughs> not really right there, but that should be good enough. I can do something like this, get that back, put the marker right there, and then do the same thing over here. Yeah, that angel block is really, really handy. Oh, this can just sit right on top of this mushroom. Great. Okay, so that is all set up. Just need to pull back this lever, right click this middle one, place down the quarry. Bam. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be keeping 25 chunks loaded. That's awesome. So we don't need a chunk loader or anything like that. The, uh, the Billcraft quarry keeps all the chunks loaded that it needs, including the chunk that the quarry itself is sitting in. Uh, you just got to make sure that if you're powering it, like with the power converters and all that stuff, that it is in a loaded chunk and not in an unloaded chunk. And you can do that by pressing F9. Uh, let's do it twice so we can see the little grid here. Yeah. So we're kind of close on the chunk border here. Uh, but if I place the power converter stuff over here on this side of the mushroom, we should be fine. So we're going to want the Billcraft producer uh, right there. We need the energy bridge. We need steam consumer. And finally, the liquid tesseract. And then we can go ahead and just turn this on now. Uh, we'll do receive only. Then we need to put the item tesseract on top of the quarry and we can just set this to send only and set that frequency there okay so the quarry is going to be building itself it has to delete all these mushrooms let's turn the wireframe off yep so it's going to be deleting all these mushrooms going to build the frames and stuff like that which is pretty cool this will take a moment and we'll be back oh that beautiful earth removal mm-hmm very soon we will have so many resources but we gotta wait for this to break through the dirt layer and get down to the stone before we can actually get any of the good stuff. I still need to head back to the base and hook up some deep storage units to put all this dirt in. We don't want any of that dirt clogging up our Emmy network. We're gonna have a whole heck of a lot of it, especially since the first top like four or five layers of this 64 by 64 quarry is dirt. Not to mention all the random pockets, and then we're going to be doing more than just the one quarry eventually. So yeah, we're going to need a place to store all of that dirt. Oh yeah, guys. We also have to set up the deep storage units for the cobblestone and all that. Now, I know you guys have been telling me to do the compressed cobblestone. Well, yeah, we can do that, that's for sure. But we still need a place for all the stuff to go eventually. Now, I don't want to have to, you know, decompress it every time I need to use cobblestone because I use cobble to turn to smooth stone. I use it to pulverize into sand. So, yeah, I got a reason to keep cobble. And, you know, a deep storage unit can hold 2 billion pieces of cobblestone, too. Now, I was thinking I might change this from a single-player world onto a local server. So, again, the server running all of the time without Minecraft open. And my quarries will continue to run. I did this before on my live stream world uh, when I was playing 152 WGT. So yeah, um, that's definitely a possibility that I'll do. Also, I've noticed that I've been having wisps spawn around here. Yeah, there's another one right there. So we got like some unstable nodes or something around here. Not really sure what the deal is. But I've seen a couple spawn like right around here. And then over here by this crystal... Yeah, I saw one just kind of on the ground. I assume it just spawned, so there must be a node, like, right on the ground. So I just covered this little patch of area with cobblestone. Hopefully that takes care of the problem.
But yeah, like I said, we were, I just saw a couple of them spawn in this area right over here by where we spawn in. So I don't know what the deal is. It seems like there's a bunch of unstable nodes around or whatever the, the bad nodes that spawn the wisps anyway. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I got some things to do. I need to go make those deep storage units like I was saying. But we are pretty much set now for all the resources we're going to need. Just going to take a little bit of time for this quarry to break through the dirt like I was saying before we get to the good stuff. But we should be getting all the, the quartz we need, all the iron, gold, all that good stuff. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. That's going to do it for today. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you next time.